Hey everybody, how's it going? First video on this YouTube channel. It's gonna be a great day. Christmas is right around the corner. I feel super joyous. I feel very giving. So you know what? We're gonna go ahead and do a giveaway on this first video. But the way to win the giveaway is I'm gonna be submitting these 15 cards to PSA. If you can guess what each card is going to get, what grade they're going to get, correctly you will win so three cards that you could win are these three cards right here from my personal collection I mean originally I only wanted to give away one but we'll see so if this video gets over 1,000 views and the, the lucky person who guesses the, uh, the grades of the cards correctly will win a base set Venusaur Freaking awesome. I mean, I love this card. This is from my personal collection. I think it's the first Venusaur I've pulled. And if this video gets over 7,500 views, you guys will win a base set Blastoise. One lucky person will win this base set Blastoise. And I didn't want to give away this card, but you know, my, my wife said if I can get over 10,000 views on this video, I will be giving away this base set. Charizard but yeah guys like I said if you guys can guess the lucky person who guesses what grade these cards are going to get uh, you guys can guess it correctly I will be giving away these three cards to that lucky winner like I said over what I, I forgot already 1,000 views 1,000 views over 5,000 views and over 10,000 views one lucky winner could win these cards right here. But let me go ahead and get along with this video here. I'm just gonna go ahead and set these right back in here in this base set box that I pulled them from. So let's get it started. Let's see. Card number one. A Blaine's Arcanine. Okay, what grade do you guys think this card is gonna get? I mean, it looks pretty awesome to me. I picked this up at a local card shop in Georgia. I was just there about two weeks ago. Uh, the guys there were pretty nice. Gave me an awesome deal. I think I paid, I don't know, like 20, 20, 20 bucks, 25 bucks for this card. Awesome steal. I mean, I know it's probably not the best deal out there, but I mean, Blaine's Arcanine, one of my favorite cards growing up, you know. The Charizard Beater, 120 damage. Freaking awesome, man. Let's see. Go ahead and flip these around. Like, like this. Wait, like, like that. Yeah, there we go. That way, you guys can't see them until I reveal them. Okay, so yeah. Blades Arcanine. Looks pretty decent. These cards should, all these cards are in near mint to mint. So, you know, I'm not gonna try to like heck with you out of getting like a low grade when you're expecting a high grade. You know, I want everyone to get a fair chance. Of predicting what grades these cards are gonna get, so yeah, it's pretty good. Next card, a base set Mewtwo. Yep, pulled this bad boy right out of that box. You guys are seeing right there. Still got some booster packs unopened. I actually bought this booster box a while back. It was it only cost me 150 bucks. That was like a a super deal right there. I wish I could have gone back to that car store and bought them all, but it was a long time ago. You know, didn't have a lot of money. But I decided to get my hands on one of them at least. So yeah, base set Mewtwo. I'm, I'm guessing, I'm guessing this is probably gonna get a nine. Next card, base set Charizard. Yep, another one. I pulled two Charizards in one box. Man, I should have recorded a long time ago, but I didn't. Yeah, I pulled these two, these two Charizards in the same box. I mean, I don't, I don't think it's even possible, but hey, it happened. Yep, let me get this Charizard graded. We'll see what it gets. I'm hoping for a 9. If it's a 10, fantastic. It's even better. If this comes back a 10, I might just go ahead and, and just add some more cards to this giveaway. I'll be so ecstatic. Next card. The Venusaur. Base set Venusaur. Yep. Didn't pull this one out of that box. I have, I'll, I've always had this Pokemon card for a long time. I mean, it's not my favorite, but it is definitely up there. Maybe top 10. I mean, you can't go bad, go wrong with Venusaur, you know? One of the originals. I'm guessing this is gonna get a 9. I see a 
some silvering on the side, just slight silvering. No dents, no creases, so I shouldn't get docked too many points. Next card, Zapdos. Legendary Thunderbird. A legendary bird, Pokemon, said to appear from clouds while wielding enormous lightning bolts. Yep. Zapdos. I'm, I'm thinking a 9. I think most of these cards will get a 9, but I think, yeah, this one's definitely a 9. I mean, I'd be pretty, pretty disappointed if it doesn't come back a 9. Unless it's a 10, then I won't be disappointed. Next card. Bam! Oh, right into the Neo Destiny set. Yep, I pulled this, this boy out of that box right there. First edition box. I also bought that box for $150 too. At the same card shop that I bought um, the base set box. I mean, the guys in there were pretty nice. They gave me an awesome deal. 150 bucks for first edition Neo Destiny. I mean, that's that's almost unheard of, at least now in these days. I'm pretty sure you could have bought a $150 booster box like like when it first came out, probably. But yeah, had an awesome deal. Awesome steal. The guys in there were nice. I wish I could go back and buy them. But unfortunately, the car shop had closed down. Don't know why. Maybe they were heartbroken that I took these two boxes for 300 bucks total but yeah dark espion maybe a nine yeah no neo destiny is uh is well known for having uh what silvering on the side of the cards which i think these may have a slight yeah i can kind of see it on here already has like slight silvering but yeah let's say what do you guys think eight i'm gonna say eight psa eight take a guess let me know Comment below what you guys think. You guys could win those cards, those giveaway Charizard, Blastoise, and Venusaur. Next card Dark Ampharos or Ampharos. I mean, I don't know how to say that. Somebody comment below. Give me, you know, like pronunciation. How to pronounce this, you know, like, like how Google would have it. They'll give me some weird words and this is how you pronounce this word, whatever. But yeah, Dark Ampharos. Neo Destiny, first edition. Awesome card. Oh, I can predict. It's gonna get an 8. An 8. We'll see. Next card Dark Typhlosion. Again, first edition, Neo Destiny. This, this is both. The whole pile is gonna be in Neo Destiny, just letting you guys know. So, I think I see a small speck of white lighting right here. I don't think it's the silver. I think it's. I don't know. It's like peeling. Man, this is probably good. I'm gonna say it's gonna get a seven. Next card, Dark Gengar. I almost didn't want to submit this one. I don't know why, but I decided that I should submit just because it's a first edition and it's in decent condition. I mean, no scratches, no creases, a little bit of silvering. We'll see what it comes as. I'm, I'm guessing an eight, an eight for Dark Gengar. And next one is Light Azumarill. I almost didn't want to submit this one either, but I decided, hey, I need to complete my first edition uh, Neo Destiny set anyways. So might as well go ahead and send it now, since I'm sending in a bunch of Neo Destiny Pokemon cards. I mean, I was never a really big fan of Azumarill. Like, I would rather be a fan of Meryl instead. I mean, Meryl just, it just looks better. Azumarill just looks like a, a giant... Easter egg rabbit. It's pretty much what it looks like to me. But yeah, I'm a, I'm thinking this is gonna get an eight. I'll be happy with an eight. And next card is a light dragon knight. Man, this artwork is just out out of here, out of this world. Like, oh, it to me, I think it's the the best artwork in this set. That's just me. I mean, I am a big dragon knight fan, so that's probably it. But yeah. I'm thinking this card is probably gonna get a a eight, just because I see some silvering on the side here, which is unfortunate. But hey, what can you do? This set is known for having that, so I might as well get it graded now before it gets any worse, right? Yeah, Light Dragon Knight PSA eight, my prediction. Next card, a Light Toga Tick. Okay. Let's see, it looks pretty, pretty darn good, you know, I see no scratches on it, 
Backside looks pretty good. If you guys do see scratches, it's because of the semi-rigid Ultra Pro case. It's actually not the card itself. Alright guys. Let's see. Yeah, everything looks good. Corners look crisp. I see like a little white speck over here. So I might get like an 8. Possibly a 7. I mean, I don't know. We'll see. But take a guess, guys. Next card. Oh, last 3. A Shining Celebi. I think this card will be a 10. PSA 10. What, are, what? PSA 10, one of these on eBay is going for how much? Like 350, 400 bucks? Not a bad deal. I mean, if I get it, hey, you know, more power to me, you know. Shining Celebi. PSA 10. This is what I am predicting. You guys let me know what you guys think. Next card, Shining Raichu. Man, this thing is shiny. Pretty good. Triple black star. Everything looks nice. I don't see silvering, at least. Not yet, at least. I'm not sure how PSA is going to grade us. But we'll see. I know there's no silvering now. I hope when it gets there, they don't open it up and mess it up and say that there is silvering on the sides. I'd be really mad, but yeah. Shining right you PSA 10, my prediction. Last but not least, a Shining Kabutops. I'm also thinking that this is going to get a 10 also. These cards, I've been keeping them forever in pristine condition. Straight from the booster box, right into a sleeve, right into a protective case. We'll see, guys. What do you guys think?